710 now. Their first labor of love, Look, 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 teaches kids how to look at a painting in a museum. And now Nancy Elizabeth Wallace and Linda Friedlander, curator of education at the Yale Center for Brit British Art, uh, have teamed up again for their second book. Look, Look, Look at Sculpture tells the story of three little mice who explore the Yale Center uh, for British Art, although in secret, I guess, and, and uh, get a good look at three-dimensional art. So Nancy Elizabeth Wallace, Linda Friedlander, um, talking about this second book, Your Second Labor of Love. Now, how, how did this come about, this book about sculpture? Well, good morning. Um, it came about because Linda had seen a piece of art of mine uh, on a wall in, a, in Guilford and had my name on her bulletin board. And I went up and I met her and she said, let's do a book. <laughs> So, and, and how did you meet you, you guys? As, at the museum. At the museum, okay. Yeah. Now you're, Nancy, you're an author and an illustrator. Right. So you usually do your books, you include bunnies. Right. Why mice this time? Do they taste better? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we, we worked on um, a painting first, the portrait okay. of Lady Clapton, and I thought, um, children are to the portrait as mice are to the postcard. And the postcard is the, the, the portrait in the book that they work with. Ah, interesting. Pretty easy to, kids love to relate to characters anyway and animals so forth, right? Okay, and we're looking at, a, at the book itself there. Um, some good pictures of the book. Now, where did the idea, Linda, for uh, using the Barbara Hepworth sculpture come from uh, that, with those uh, rectangles and the circles? The idea to do a second book was to do something three-dimensional since the first book was on a uh, painting which is flat and 2D. Uh, the Barbara Hepworth sculpture is uh, one of a number of Barbara Hepworth sculptures we have at the British Art Center, but it's a particular favorite of mine because it deals with a lot of the properties that we wanted to teach young children or anybody about in terms of a three-dimensional object. And there's a look at it right there in the, uh, on the screen. Talk about why it's so important for kids, especially after a trip to the museum, to talk about it and then may maybe make something. Well, the idea is to try to help young people, uh, in particular, for whom the book is uh, uh, aimed at, to be able to do something with what they are looking at. And the hope is that um, through Nancy's illustrations and so forth, that we lead the children through the process of learning how to look and talk about a three-dimensional object. And we're hoping that that kind of experience and knowledge can then be transferred to any kind of three-dimensional object of which we have brought in a couple of um, ideas to present uh, to the audience. I know I've always been more inspired to play music after listening <laughs> to music or seeing somebody play it live. So let's talk about what's on the table here. Well, we brought different sculptures that are in the book to sh demonstrate that they're made out of different materials, that they're different sizes, that they come from different countries, and that's something else we wanted to emphasize in the book. <laughs> Who that? The, Who's the, this guy the here? The commuter. Um, <laughs> he's actually made out of a tree root. And really? he's carved and painted, and the little briefcase is leather. But he's our back cover, and which also then demonstrates uh, looking at the front, the sides, and the back. That again, that three-dimensional quality. And all the detail. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's it, it, that would look good on anybody's desk <laughs> or on a mantle. I think very cool. Uh, and what's this big yeah. guy here? Uh, it's a rhino head uh, from Kenya um, that I got last year. Uh, and uh, the idea, again, is to show a uh, multitude of different kinds of properties, sizes, shapes, and subject matter. And I wanted to point out the um, materials in front of the book. This guy? Yes. Uh, that, those are pieces um, that okay we... okay to hold this up? Sure. Okay. These are pieces that we have as, um, as an... Uh, activity uh, after the uh, young people have been led through looking at to talking about the sculpture in the museum that we then provide a follow-up gallery activity that they can do while they are looking at the piece of sculpture. So lots to, this is very uh, uh, interactive and certainly very stimulating, I think. Yes. All right, very good. Well, uh, Nancy Elizabeth Wallace, I'm trying to get, oh, make sure I'm getting the numbers right, uh, the names right, and uh, Linda Friedlander. Yes. Thank you very much for coming in. And by the way, for more information, uh, you can go to our website at WTNH.com and uh, ch check the uh, Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. Very easy to do.